What's up, mother suckers? Welcome back to another video. Let's talk tackle. So, these past couple of months, maybe a year, a while now, everyone's been asking, hey, what hooks do you use to replace your jig paras, your jerk baits, your, you know, any baits that has interchangeable hooks? Well, in this video, I'll be explaining which hook I'm using, which split ring I'm using, and uh, what baits I use them for. So, Let's, uh, let's dive right into it. First things first, you're gonna need split ring pliers. These are the Halco. These are by far the best split ring pliers you can get on the market for um, smaller split rings, of course. I mean, not those big old ones for surface irons and yo-yos and all that stuff, but this is what I use for small baits like the Jigpara spins. And I use them to replace hooks on standard Jigparas, Jigpara micros, and throw it in there, jerk baits. So you guys are wondering what hooks I use. I use the owner stinger trebles. All the stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys is gonna be linked in the description below. Be sure to check that out if you guys have any questions on which hooks I'm using, which split rings and etc. I use size four, six, eight, and 12. Those are all the sizes I use for all my baits. And the split rings I use are the owner pro parts hyperwire split ring and I use size 2. These by far are probably my most favorite split rings on the market. So we're going to dive right into it. So first things first I'm going to start off with the micro stuff and then I'm going to move on to the bigger stuff. So I'm going to start off with the G Power Micro. So as we all know you've probably seen it in some of my videos that the power hooks is a hit and miss. It's gonna be, sometimes they're gonna be good hooks, sometimes it's gonna be really, really bad hooks. I already had many of these hooks on the J Power Micro break on me after like one fish or bend out. I mean, they're sticky, but they're not durable. And that's the bait right there. I believe this is a size 12 hook. So I'm gonna be replacing this hook right here with a size 12 owner hook. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you have split ring pliers, you know exactly what to do. Let's get into it right here. I'm gonna take the whole hook and split ring right off the bait. So you need small split ring pliers to get this done efficiently. Boom just like that hook saw I mean you can run the bait without the treble but I recommend you know for a hooker ratio leave the treble on or change it out and get the split ring pop the split ring open just like that put a hook right in it and bam right there split ring size 12 treble all right, well, there you go. Swap it out. The hooks are a lot more durable now. You're gonna be way more confident in your bait, especially hook on something good. It won't bend out, and won't break. So yeah, and all my micros, I changed out the hooks. I mean, people are gonna complain the fact that hooks bend out, baits come with terrible hardware, but you gotta think about it. If they put really good hardware on any bait really, the price mark is going to go up and then you're going to complain about the prices so there's a reason why to sell separate trebles there's a reason why to sell separate split rings and that way you can customize your bait to to your liking so what size hooks you want different split ring different weight different color etc what you're really paying for is the bait itself keep that in mind so for the bigger jig power standards, you guys are going to be using size 4 split rings and size 4 treble hooks. No need to really explain that, no need to really break it down for you guys. It's pretty easy with that one. But a lot of people have questions regarding the jig power spins. So for the jig power micros or the jig power micro spin, 7 gram to be exact, which are these guys. Me personally, I haven't had no issues with these hooks. I don't think anybody have issues with these hooks just yet besides that they're freaking puny but first things first every jig power spin throw away the damn clip that clip is garbage 
but for hooks you're gonna probably want to use a size 14 with a size 2 split ring if you guys can find a size 1 split ring which I don't think they make it'll work just fine my size 12 is a little bit too big for this bait but you guys catch my drift all you guys got to do is remove the hook from the bait with using your split ring pliers so move it on to the Jikara spin now this bait is hot in the market and a lot of people are asking what size hooks you use what split rings you use you guys already know it's in the video i use the owner stinger trebles and the owner hyper wire hooks again straight out the package remove that damn clip you can put a new clip on leave it naked it doesn't really matter because you can use a better clip on your line so yeah a lot of people have issues with the split ring where the blade meets right here it stretches out after so many fish i mean if you think about it when you're casting this bait you're whipping it out there all that momentum is going to be stretching out that split ring and most of the time when you're getting short bites and you bring your blade back and you see teeth marks they're actually pulling on the blade so when they pull on the blade obviously they stretch out the split ring so what i'm gonna do is swap out those split rings swap out these hooks and pretty much give it a whole overhaul again if you guys want to know all the stuff i'm using in this video it will be in the description below be sure to check that out the split ring that connects directly on the bait let me show you guys if you guys can see it that split ring right there in the middle that never stretches out for me ever i never had issues with that split ring so i'm gonna leave that split ring alone i'm gonna just remove this split ring that connects the blade and i'm gonna remove this hook you can either leave the back treble hook off or put on a new one i run both trebles i like to catch fish so tangle up here and there it doesn't really doesn't really affect me i mean i tangle maybe let's say 15 casts i'll hang up two times yeah two times out of like 15 casts but it happens that's what happens when you run troubles and you suck at casting also i want you guys to know is that not every bait is perfect there's always going to be a minor hiccup in the bait user error something i don't know but if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't I mean, there's millions of beats on the market. You guys can try. You guys don't have to throw jig paras. There's other tail spins on the market you can try, but I just, there's just something about the jig paras that, that gets bit. The color selection is awesome. And I mean, one bait can last you so long. All right, uh, so I got the hooks and split rings off. So I'm gonna remove the blade now naked bait which is the swivel I'm going to be changing the split ring right here this right here is not your standard swivel this is a one way swivel meaning that the side that is connected to the bait doesn't spin it's fixed in one spot and this side where the blade hangs out right here actually spins to power spin so I mean the name is there so you guys let me know what what kind of troubles you guys use and what kind of split rings you guys use you know i want to look around shop around and try new things new split ring on the blade wait let's change it up real quick let's say you lose the blade all right this blade gone capiche boom fish took it Yes, it flew off or it rusted away and it doesn't have shine no more. I'm gonna throw a little something in this video for you guys. So everyone wonders and asks, what blades do you use to replace your G-Power blades? Well, I use willow leaf blades. That's what they're called. And I use the size four. Let me take out the package for you guys. This is the blade I use. It's not the same exact size as the jig power blade if i lay them on top of each other they're not the exact same size 
I don't know if you guys can see that, but the Major Craft Blade is a tad bit smaller. I mean, I tried looking for a 3.5. Well, I actually found a 3.5, a couple 3.5s. And even I went down a half a size, it's still too small to match this. So size four was the best bet. I think they make their own blades to their own size. So I'm not sure. I know a lot of big companies make their own hooks and they make their own split rings. They make their own hardware, but I'm not quite sure if Beatrecraft does the same. There's tons of different hardware out there you can use to replace the stock hook, stock weight, stock, stock everything. You can even make your own damn bait. But there you go. So for Jigpara, 18 grams and 25 grams. What size hooks I use if I want to match the hook that came with the bait would be a size eight. Well, I'll put the split ring onto the hooks first and then I attach it to the bait itself. Just be careful doing this. You can get hook covers and work on the treble hooks, but I don't have any with me right now. So you guys be extra careful working with trebles. They don't play, they'll mess you up. These Halco split ring pliers make life so much easier. All right, I'm about to attach it to the Jakara spin. Here's a tip. If you're attaching hooks to your bait, make sure you get the split ring to sit correctly. Oh, that hurt. You want your treble to sit. Both trebles, two of the trebles to sit flush up against the bait and one at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's how you want it. That way it flows a lot better because if you have it one hook up and two hook down, you're gonna have way more snags rather than having just one hook at the bottom and two on top you won't snag as much the more hooks on the bottom you have the more snags you're gonna get so be sure to line up the split ring correctly on your bait with baits you can't just slap on any treble hooks in any direction and things gonna work perfectly fine there's an actual correct way to put on treble hooks or correct direction so the hook is added right there when the bait is swimming, it's gonna sit flush under. So you're gonna have two hooks on the top right here and one on the bottom of the bait. It's kind of hard to show you guys on camera, but you want it to sit like that. You can see that. So the back hook is not gonna be on a new split ring. I'm gonna be utilizing the existing split ring that connects the bait to the swivel. I'm gonna attach it just like that. Spin it on. Bada bing, bada boom. You got yourself a fully revamped overhaul of the Jigpara spin. So that pretty much concludes swapping out the hooks and blades for the Jigpara spin that everyone's always asking. So again, size eight owner treble hooks. This is the Stinger, size two owner hyperwire split rings. And get yourself one of these. They're dope. I mean, I have two of them. They're pretty damn pricey. So that's gonna cover pretty much everything for Jig Paros. I mean, you could do the same thing to jerk baits. Let me show you guys real quick what I meant by having the hook lay on the bait. Since it's probably a lot easier to see, so. So we're gonna focus on the front hook. You don't want the hook to be stabbing into the bait when you're swimming it. And then two trebles on the bottom. The way to have this set is when you jerk it or swim it or crank it, the two hooks are gonna lay flush on the bait. You guys can see that right there. Ow, ow, ow. You see how the front hook is laying right on the belly of the bait? That's how you want to lay your treble hooks on all your baits. Less snag, less resistant, and uh, it's, it's just better for the bait all around. I use the same exact split rings, size two, and for hooks, depends on the bait. It could be a size four, a size six, size eight. It depends on you. Let me show you guys one more thing, or tell you guys one more thing. I don't know, I can get this on camera. This was a split ring that was connecting the blade to the swivel for the jig parts, but I barely even opened it. and. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's stretched out. It's open. It's not going to be closed anymore. So the split rings suck. 
If you guys have trouble with split rings, always upgrade. Always have some of this stuff in your bag, just in case. You never know. Imagine you have one Awashi Jig Par spin out there and two split rings fail on you. And that's the only color that is biting. And that's the only one you have. Why not swap everything on the fly? That's what I do. That's what a lot of guys I know do. And it'll help you out a lot. If you guys are wondering, do these things rust? Everything rusts, especially you fish in the salt. It's gonna rust, it doesn't matter. What's my tip? Bring it home, rinse it with fresh water, get a light toothbrush and just brush it. And then let it air dry. I've been doing that for six, seven years and it's been working completely fine for me. And hopefully that tip helps you guys out. But I'm gonna close out the video right there, guys. I hope this video covered everything you need to know about changing split rings and hooks on the jig paras, jerk baits, and all the other good stuff. You can utilize it on your other baits, your top water baits, your pencil baits your irons, your yo-yos, I don't know, whatever you throw, you wanna upgrade. I hope this helps you guys out a lot. But I'm gonna close it out right there. So everything I use in this video, split rings, hooks, the pliers, baits, blade, all that stuff, description below. Be sure to check that out. If you guys like these Tackle Talk videos, comment below. If you guys have any more ideas you guys want me to share, comment below, drop a like, subscribe, and yeah. There's uh, really nothing left to say, but thanks for watching, as always. Good fishing, peace and hello.